Hey guys, Speedy420 here. I am currently hosting a giveaway on my Speedy Codes channel to celebrate 100 subscribers. So you guys actually do have a pretty high chance of um, of winning the Robux because there's a, a, low, a low amount of people subscribed to this channel. But you guys can um, visit that channel. Link will be in the description below. Visit that. Just watch this video. It has instructions on how to enter. You basically just have to be subscribed and you just have to comment below. It's that easy. And I'll give you guys some direct group funds if you do win the giveaway. So let's talk about what the point of this video is though. And the point of this video is that Roblox has finally corrected their mistakes. As you guys saw last night, I made a video about how Roblox, um, basically what they did is they they took all the blocks items off sale, even though they said in the game description that these free items were supposed to be on sale till um, till March 30th. So they, they contra this is not the first time Roblox has done this. They did this with the Friday the 13th hat. They'd say something would come out and they would just not do it or they would, they would mess up. But, um, it looks like Roblox here has actually fixed their mistake. I believe sometime around this afternoon, I got a notification for it on Roblox plus notifier. Um, that's how I was able to figure this out, but they basically brought these two items back for free, which are the Bloxy Punk Top Hat and the Bloxosaurus Rex. So those are the two, um, the two free items. And yeah, they should, they sh it, it's, it's really nice to see these things back. So if you guys were really disappointed and bummed out, um, if, if you didn't get these items, you guys can now get them. I'll link them in the description below. Just pick them up. Um, this, they don't look too bad right here, this top hat. They probably won't load because my computer's super slow. But yeah, Roblox has finally done something right. This is this is a step in the right direction for Roblox. Um, instead of just ignoring mistakes or just never fixing them, it's nice to see them um, recognize this. However, they have not brought back these Make-A-Wish items. I assume what happened now is they reached 100,000 sales on the Make-A-Wish items. Again, they didn't say they were going to go off sale. Um, so that's that's interesting, but I guess they, you know, I guess they just took them off sale once they reached 100,000 sales. Um, so they reached 100,000 sales and they took all the um, the Make a Wish items off and the Code Org items off sale. So those aren't coming back, unfortunately. I know a lot of people wanted them. Um, so yeah. Um, and another thing I want to talk about is somebody left a comment on my other video and that's like, well, why doesn't Roblox just use timers for these items? I don't know. I, I wish Roblox would go back to using timers. It just makes everything much more clear. I don't think that would, mistake would have been made if Roblox just had put a three-day timer on this thing. It just doesn't make sense to me why Roblox doesn't do that anymore and they have that tool and yet they decide not to use it. So it's pretty interesting what's happening at Roblox. I guess they're revamping the whole limited and timer thing. Um, even after them on, I believe, Black Friday sale, releasing some limited. So, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting what's going to happen. I think everything is becoming more UGC focused. But I, there, I mean, Roblox sh should just this this really it would really make sense for them to put a timer on this item, and it's just so much better. And I don't know why they stopped doing that for a lot of items. So, uh, I don't know what Roblox is doing, but yeah, this is a step in the right direction. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.